In the heart of Birmingham, where modern sky meets the echoes of the past, stands the Rotunda, a testament to brutalism's bold legacy. At Silverpunk today, we're bridging history with artistry. In this video, I'm joining forces with a proper artist. A talented young lady named Becky has asked me to collaborate with her to create some silver tiles by using my sand casting process. This is going to be awesome. Inspired by the stark, raw beauty of Birmingham's concrete jungle, and particularly by John Paul's mesmerising rotunda relief, we're about to embark on a creative endeavour that salutes this spirited era. John Paul was a remarkable artist right here in Birmingham. He's famous for a huge piece of art called the Rotunda Relief. It's a big rain mural that he made for a bank back in 1963, and you can still see it today on the first floor of the Zara store in the Bull Ring. This artwork isn't just large, it tells a story of hope and the city's bold taste in the 60s, back when they loved this style called brutalism. Even though it's kind of tucked away now, John Paul's work is really important. It's protected because it's a special part of Birmingham's history and just shows how creative he was. Beck's vision and inspiration from the Rotunda Relief has been made into three tiles using a 3D printing process. They draw from a time when art intertwined with architecture, when cities rose with hope and strength from the ashes of war. And now, with sand and silver, we set to pour new life into a piece of that visionary dream. It's more than just a mere silver tile, it's a homage, an artistic echo of the Rotunda's once hidden treasure. So stick around and witness the transformation as we forge a connection from Paul's concrete to our cast silver, from Birmingham's bold past to a shimmering future. This is where art meets legacy. Ready for a journey through time and creativity? Let's dive into the world of silver and brutalism. Welcome to Silverpunk HQ, let's get into it.
So here we are. These are the three designs that I did. As you can see, they're pretty cool. They, they, as, as, as I've gone through a bit earlier, you can see them both all have their different problems. As you can see, they're all different heights, these little pieces, and very intricate inside. That one's not as detailed, should we say, but it still has its, its, its problems because of the circles. But I'll show you now how they actually come out. You've seen them do the pour and the sand cast, so here's, here's how they've come out. This is all just, is just raw from the sand cast. This is just before we do the clean up and the toning. So there's that one. As you can see, not too shabby. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Pleased with that. There's a second one, more of a sunburst decoration. And again, really pleased. And the third one, this was the tricky one of the three. And there you go. And also with, the, with that third one, I did have to do that one a couple of times. Because I don't know if the cameras, let's just move those out of the way. Let's just, just talk about the tricky one. As you can see, it wasn't really picking up the centre bit. The good one one so I just thought no we'll go again so we've done it another couple of times and we got there in the end it's quite hard when the raw out the furnace like out, out the sand cast to see but that's where we're at so that one will go back to the back mounted down to something else but I, I thought I'd show you that just so you could see how it didn't go to plan how the cast failed and then that one of course come out okay and the backs all nice on the back they're all the same all uniform all the same Hopefully, that look pretty cool. I'm sure I've gotten the right way up. I remember. That's it. So there you go. I'll get them all cleaned up now and toned, and come back and show you what they're like all toned up. Thank you. 